What's going on, YouTubers? This is the Everyday Movie Goer, and I am making this video to review not only one of the most anticipated films of the year, but also one of my favorite superhero movies, and also my favorite movie of this year so far, and that is The Dark Knight, starring Heath Ledger, uh, the late Heath Ledger as the Joker, Christian Bale in the role of Batman, Morgan Freeman in the role of Batman's chief technician, Lucius Fox, Aaron Eckhart as Gotham City's district attorney, Harvey Dent, and uh, replacing Katie Holmes from the first movie, Batman Begins, is uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal playing Rachel Doss, which is the uh, sort of like the girl in the love triangle between Har uh, Harvey Dent and uh, Bruce Wayne slash Batman. Okay, let me get the obvious out of the way for this review. Heath Ledger's performance as the Joker is riveting, incredible, stupendous, scrumptulescent, whatever word you have for awesome. Keith Ledger did this, he he made it on the bar, and he raised the bar for awesomeness. I mean, it's just like mind-blowingly amazing. Uh, this, his, okay, his performance is the best performance I've ever seen in a comic book movie. And his, his performance is the best performance I've seen like in a couple of years. I mean, the Joker's crazy, but he's funny at the same time. But you don't know why you're laughing, because he's doing all these horrible things to these people. And he himself, it's like a possession that he just takes to the role. And it's just awesome. And I think he's going to win the, uh, the uh, posthumous Oscar for either Best Supporting Actor or Best Actor. I don't care. Whatever it is, he should win it. Awesome. If you have to see the movie, like if you have to see the movie for one reason, if somebody asks you to see the movie and you ask them to give you one reason, it would be to see Heath Ledger's last full performance as the Joker. It is amazing, so go watch it at least for Heath Ledger's performance as a Joker. Okay, on to the other actors. Aaron Eckhart gives a great uh, understated because people are going to be, uh, you know, pounding so much praise on Heath Ledger that they're not really going to notice uh, Aaron Eckhart's performance as much. He does a great job as this is returning Harvey Dent, who later becomes Two Face, as may, either you know, comic book fans may know. And I didn't spoil anything because Harvey Dent is Two-Face, and for lots of people, once they heard the name Harvey Dent, they sort of related to Two-Face, so I'm not spoiling anything in the movie, he does become Two-Face later on, but, you know, he gives a great performance, and, you know, it's really, it, it's really cool, like, he's just, you know, awesome as, uh, as Two-Face, um, who else can I talk about, Christian Bale, he's fine as the Batman, I think he's, you know, I think he's maybe one step below Michael Keaton, but above everybody else. Uh, one thing that might annoy some people though is Christian Bale's a drow when he plays the bat, like when he's when he is Batman and not Bruce Wayne. Uh, you know, he like talks really weird, but I like to think of it as he's like it's realistic because if you were Batman, you try to disguise your voice too. Like we did just like this, you know, like something like that. Like you know, it's realistic. You know, he's trying to like physically change his voice so that nobody recognizes him. So that's what I like to think of it. And uh, also the new bat suit looks pretty awesome. And also the uh, bat cycle, which in this movie is called the bat pod. But when it first, when it makes its first appearance, everybody in the theater started clapping. It, it really is like an awesome weapon. It's, it's really cool. Um, also, Maggie Gyllenhaal gives a... Comparing to Katie Holmes in Batman Begins, Maggie Gyllenhaal gives like a master class performance as Rachel Doss. Really like an upgrade, a big upgrade from Katie Holmes. You know, it's, I, could, I, I didn't want her back in uh, you know, this movie, so I'm glad they replaced her. Um, and uh, one major complaint people have about this movie is the length. And I think the length is, all right, is, is fine, because the thing is, they compare it, they're comparing the length to like a regular comic book movie, but this movie almost became like a crime epic. Like, you know, it took place like over, like there's scenes like, you know, of them in Japan, like overseas, and I'm back in Gotham City, 
and you know so much so many stuff is happening like with the mob and with these different criminal rings like all revolving around like the Joker and his plan and Harvey Dent who wants to like clean up the city as a district attorney like so many things going on and it's just you know, it's like an epic story, and that's what I liked about this. And I think that if they would have uh, cut the running time down to like an hour and 30 minutes, they couldn't have possibly wrapped up all the loose ends that they did in this movie. Um, so that's, uh, that's what I have to say about the running length. Uh, I think it's fine. Okay, special effects are awesome. Uh, he doesn't use a lot of CGI, but when he does, you hardly notice it. I mean, it's so, like, realistic and subtle in the way that he uses, uh, in the way Christopher Nolan uses CGI. And he doesn't, like, overblow it at all. I mean, there's, like, so many superhero movies that, like, that have, like, entire scenes in CGI. And this guy, he, you know, makes sparse use of, you know, computer-generated imagery. And, you know, it's, it's really awesome, like, the effect that it has because he uses it at just the right moments, you know? And uh, it, may, it just gives the film an even more gritty and realistic look. And, you know, it's, it's, really, it's really good. And, you know, the art, the, the art direction is really dark, as you would expect from a Batman movie. And uh, it was, it was mind-blowingly awesome. I, I can't, I still can't get over how good it was. This is almost like a first impression review. Even though I saw it last night, I was really tired, so I just went to sleep. But this is like, the movie's like still processing in my head, and it was, incredible. Watch it for the awesome performance from Heath Ledger as the Joker. Watch it for Christian Bale as one of the best Batmans to ever come around. Watch it for Aaron Eckhart who gives a great performance as District Attorney Harvey Dent. And watch it if you don't like Kitty Holmes because she's not in this movie at all. So that's what I have to that's all I have to say about The Dark Knight. Yeah, watch watch this movie as soon as you can, right away. Turn off the computer right now. Watch it with some buddies. I don't care. Six stars out of five. I'm the everyday moviegoer. Keep on watching movies.